This is a video to show you the differences between Notepad, WordPad, and Microsoft Word. What I'm running here is Windows XP. Under the Start menu, well, I have Notepad here, but under All Programs, Accessories, this is where you would normally find Notepad. The idea of Notepad is it only stores basic text. Hi there. Now when we store that into a file, it's only stored in that really basic text format. What do I mean? I'll just save this, put into my documents and call it my notepad the notepad one. Okay, so if I open up my documents, you'll see the document there, but I'll open up the command prompt and I'll change my directory to my documents. There it goes, type my note. Add one dot t um, txt. So you see, it's a txt, txt document, and it has the text inside it. Hi there. Now, there's really no formatting we can do with this. Uh, we can create new documents, open and save, print it. Cut, copy and paste, we can search the document. These two options, Word Wrap, let's have a look at this. Now see how I'm scrolling? But if I change my format to Word Wrap, it then allows me to keep everything onto, onto the same page where without it. I'll have to scroll to see what's there. I'm sure I can make this page bigger, but if I copy and paste this, eventually I'm going to need to scroll again. Word wrap. Now also under the format, we have the font. Now we can change the font how it's displayed, the size, but file save, we'll go back into the DOS window, we'll type that document again, it's still text, so the format here and the font is only to do with how it's displayed in Notepad itself, nothing to do with how it's stored in the file. And that's basically it. That's all Notepad does. So let's close this. And let's go into WordPad. We will find WordPad down here. Now WordPad's a little bit different. It's probably in between Notepad and Microsoft Word itself. I type in some, some text. Hi there. File save as. You see it's been saved as by default as an RTF document with text format. We'll call this WordPad 1. Go back into the DOS prompt. Change to my documents. We can see there we have a WordPad 1 doc. Type WordPad 1. Uh, if you're not sure what I'm doing there, if 
you start typing in the file name and press the tab key, it will fill in the rest of the file name for you, if it's unique. Okay, what do we have here? Um, it's a little bit more dynamic than what we had before. So what WordPad does, it uses some basic formatting. You can see here it has high there. And then it does some formatting on the font size, paragraphing. So basically WordPad's a really basic word processor. I can go in here and I can format this. I could change the font. Ah uh, no. Do something a bit different. Make it bigger. Save that. And you can see that the uh, file now contains more information. You can see it mentions the font that we use and there'll be mention of the size in there as well. Next line. Hello. But then I can go in here and I can say I want that to be a different type of font. I don't want it to be bold. So now I can start mixing my formatting. I can make that underlined. Save that. So you can actually use WordPad as a word processor. It's a little bit basic, but it will do the job. And when we go into Word, all of a sudden there's a lot more features, a lot more options. We can do mail merge. Um, we can insert pictures. We can still do that with Word, uh, WordPad anyway, but if you look back onto WordPad, you know, it's you have to insert those objects. It's just not quite the same. Word gives you everything that they think Microsoft at the time thinks is uh, is available to you. Insert picture, and then we save this as a file. I'll save as. We'll call this Word one then we look at look at our command prompt we'll see that we have a uh, word one dot docx before uh, with Microsoft Word up to 2003 they were all doc documents <clears throat> when they brought out word 2007 it became a docx document it was a new format to support new um, features in the newer version of Office and Word. Type Word tab Word1.doc press enter and you can see it's really quite garbled we can't even see the text in there if we save some. So let's do that. Hello save command There's no hello in there, I can see. It's all garbled. So if you're doing word processing, use Microsoft Word, but it is a paid product. WordPad, it has enough features inside it to do word processing. It doesn't really handle the pictures too well. It doesn't do mail merge. It doesn't do a lot of things, but you can write a letter in WordPad, but it's not full-blown. And of course there's Notepad. So will I use Notepad for word processing? No. Do I use Notepad? Very rarely. Uh, for the general public, they'll never use it. Uh, you wouldn't write a letter in Notepad. You could write a letter in WordPad. But most people pay the dollars and they buy Microsoft Office and get Microsoft Word. And that's what we use. That's the standard. I hope this explains things a little bit better. Thank you.